A go-kart and a smudge pot for $80? First, we're gonna get this go-kart running, and then we're gonna get choochin'. Let's get to it. There's a freaking mango hiding under there. Only $40. First step whenever you get a new project is just to start yanking it. <laughs> Something sounds weird, which is there's no sound at all. I don't know that there's anything wiggling in there. Come over here. I don't even know if there's valves on this thing. The crank is moving. There's but, something rotten in Denmark. Oh boy. Well, after you've yanked it, we're gonna check the spark plug. Take a look at that. Yep. Well, we're about 30 seconds into this project and we already have some grave concerns. We don't have basically any compression. We can see the piston wiggling around in there like a Christmas pig, but we're gonna check for spark and then just kind of go for there. We haven't checked the oil. That's usually like step 10. Get your eyeballs close. Juicy spark. Oh. Yee doggy. She's gonna run. <laughs> Guaranteed to have compression now. Luber and Chuber. <laughs> so we still don't have compression. We're kind of suspecting. <laughs> we might not even have valves. <laughs> that the valves are tallywhackered in here. So we're just gonna bust these nuts off. All right. Hmm. Can't tell. <laughs> That's a stuck valve right there, baby. Yeah. You can tell it's stuck. Because the way it is. All right, when you got a stuck valve like this, you just want to start tapping it. Trust me, we did it <laughs> on a Toronado. Free! Free! <laughs> With some precise tapping, you can accomplish a lot of things. All right, let her rip. <laughs> Wiggle Town, USA. Too easy. More wiggly than a tadpole. Jimmy. Well, if you made it this far in the video, you're obligated to go check out our merch, like this hat or this tadpole. Well, maybe not the tadpole. But there least, might be a tadpole At least sale. the hat. Go check out our merch. It helps us out. And check out this big chungus. That is a beauty. That is a salmon if I've ever seen one. Somehow we ran out of starting fluid, so we're left with brake clean. We're gonna give a little spritz. Dry out that cylinder. And now we're gonna put our spark plug back in. This is for all the boys. Do for the boys. Hurry, it's drying out. <laughs> Whoa. Come on. You were too slow. What? You were too slow. This is a terrible angle. <laughs> we weren't four foot three. What? Nothing. You Nuts. blew it. Nothing to see here. Just a little drop. Go a little quicker this time. It's fine. Watch and learn. Oh, it's, it's exhausting now. Oh! Come on, Betsy. Yeah! Well, we got rid of the questionable springs that were attaching this thing. Now we're going to attach the throttle cable to the bottom of this governor arm. So that it's wiggling the throttle like so. Oh, and she's wiggling. Is it? Yep. <laughs> a go-kart and a smudge pot for $80? One of the things I like to do is uh, the easy, lazy way first. So we're going to take the carburetor off and see how it's looking and then assess We're going to take half the carburetor off. We're going to take just the bowl off. 
That's some milky looking juice in there. It's just water, it's fine. <laughs> it's Maybe water. Not. It is water. The hint of gasoline. Yeah, still, still there's water. Oh boy. What? Look at that bowl. <laughs> well, looks like we're taking the whole car off. That is a lot of water. That's a crusty carb. <laughs> There's still more water in the tank. I think this is a steam engine. <laughs> <laughs> She's chooching now. You best it too. Carb vibrator 3000. You're done. After you've cleaned out all your holes, let's put it back together. I'm gonna slap some fresh fuel in it. We'll be scooting. We'll be scooting. All right, some fresh dino juice. We're gonna fill her up. Speaking of dino juice, how's that oil look? Haven't looked at it once. Just the way it should be. Look at those stickers. If you're not squirting, <laughs> what are you even doing? <laughs> All right, get ripping. Let's get ripping. <laughs> Come on, Becky. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh my goodness. They call me the pole star. <laughs> he does this every time. A five horsepower and you're pulling it like it's a 30. <laughs> well, the good news is, is that the pull cord housing is riveted on. Yippee. So to cover our sorrows, we're going to go ahead and check the oil. We have no choice now. Hmm. Not as milky as I thought it would be. <laughs> if only my arms weren't so strong, I wouldn't have yanked the pull card apart. I don't know why they think it's a good idea to put rivet. Oh, just busting those rivets off. Those rivets don't change the chance. <laughs> those rivets? If you made it this far in the video, it's probably because you think our content is riveting. All right, Yankee Doodle Dandy, let's Pumped go. Pump that bulbous a few times and... Whew. This feels like a break again. That is about to fly off. Come on. Don't break our pull cord assembly. <laughs> here, I'll, I'll push them down here. Bro, Barn one more yank, one more yank, <laughs> finish her off. <laughs> what? <laughs> We've done this before, I promise. <laughs> A little trick we learned back in Nome. All right, we're getting rid of the chain so we don't actually break it and then get annoyed later because we should have just taken it off in the first place. It's about as loose as a Christmas clam. A Christmas clam? <laughs> Never heard of one of those. Tadpole cam. <laughs> well, we got the carburetor off again. Turns out if you don't do it right the first time. Just send it. <laughs> Whoops, my wife's sleeping. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> What's going on there, Bungus boy? Turns out we still have a tad bit of water in that gas. Huh. So it's not us. Levi told me he cleared out the gas tank. I never said such a thing. Turns out there's a few more <laughs> contaminations in this fuel than we originally thought. Like a freaking lava lamp. 
So we're going to toss this gas out and get some new one. Sight, <laughs> We're going to reuse it. The good stuff. We're finally checking the oil. Against our better judgment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Milky. The Milky Way. <laughs> wonder why this wasn't running well. Chocolate milk. Milkshakes, anyone? 21 ounces of only the best Walmart special <laughs> Super Tech. We are not sponsored, so. Drink up. He's just a, a weirdo. Okay, all right, cool. Turns out when you don't have milkshakes inside your engine, <laughs> and water in your gas, it'll run a little better. <laughs> Who would have thunk? Huh. What do we do now? Slap her chain on her. Better not make that thing too short. We got our sneaky links here. <laughs> we're getting rid of a couple chain links. And then we're just about ready to scoot. S Q U T. <laughs> First test. Don't know if the brakes work. No kick, no pull starter. No kick starter. No kick starter either. <laughs> This is the first time you started it, not with the wheel suspended. This is the slowest go-kart ever seen. We should have got a Predator. I'm glad we didn't spend hours working on it. <laughs> uh, how much is a Predator to, to twelve hundred dollars? Cost less than a half day's work, I'll tell you that. Oh boy. Well, I think that's all we're gonna do for today. Pretty much a great success. <laughs> Probably the fastest go kart this side of the Mississippi. We'll catch you on the next one. I think it's smudge pot time. <laughs> yep. Love you guys. Bye. Time to upgrade our forty dollar go kart. Just scrounge around in the shed and found this. Bro, Predator two twelve. She's a bit knackered, but we're gonna swap it out for the Tecumseh, and we'll be scooting. We should be free now. Come on, muscle it out. Oh, nice. Sure glad we spent four hours on this yesterday. Time to see if these holes match up. Well, holy moly's. They're lining up. Well, it's time to get this thing running. We are anti-governor, so we're gonna get rid of the governor, the little oil sensor, and uh, well, get it running in the first place. So, Hopefully. Uh, plop it up here. We also found a beautiful, crispy, Tally stage, whacker. stage one kit sitting in the garage. Boy, is that gonna be nice. First time we've ever been prepared. All right, before we get too far into this engine, we're just gonna see if it turns over with some juice. Little squirt. Turn her on. On. Yank town. Well, that's all we needed. We're gonna get some more smudge juice out of this thing so that we can take the side cover off, do the governor delete, and get rid of the low oil sensor. Come on. Mm. Mm. Juicy. Okay, time to peek inside. Come on. Hmm. All right, first we're gonna take out the low oil sensor. You take this out because it'll actually shut off the engine when your oil's sloshing around in there. Just take it and Not rip it, it out. out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next we're gonna get the governor arm off. Boom, governor arm removed. Some precise tapping. Boom. Show you what you're trying to get at when you're smashing in there. This little tiny ring locks this thing onto that shaft. And so you just want to kind of break it free 
and then you can just pull this jalopy right off. Don't forget to take the washer off that's sitting back here or else it may go into your engine and destroy all of your hardware. We have never done that. All right, we got to plug a hole here. This hole, we're just going to leave with the plastic in there. This one, just going to run a self tapper in there. Time to juice her up with some fresh juice. We are so responsible. We're going to get this torque converter taken off so that we can put it on our Predator 212. NASCAR boy. Remember, just <laughs> pile drive those bolts in there. Don't worry about stripping holes or nothing. Out with this old, in with the new. Holy Freaking 24 karat spark plug. No expenses spared on this cart here. Well, we've got a lot of throttle setups rigged to Jerry and we didn't want to change the game. So we got this one rigged to Jerry. Got a little spring going to here. This is the stock little lever thing. Going to our throttle jibble. Boom. We'll be scooting. Okay, let's see if this fits on here. Wow, that thing's already looking faster. Holy smokes. This thing's gonna go 100 miles an hour. <laughs> The dullest drill bit in history. What do you know? It actually works. Wiggling. Scooting. All right, we're going with the good old classic headrest <laughs> gas tank. We're just going to self tap this thing right into the seat. Because if you're not self tapping, what are you even doing? Hopefully, those little screws aren't too long and we don't get stabbed in the head. new engine still don't think we have brakes but here we go the speed we have to beat is three miles per hour huh well we think uh we have a valve problem again <laughs> <laughs> whoops whoopsie daisies <laughs> weird huh this looks upgraded almost Weird, that's way wiggling. Easier. All right, here we go. Now she's gonna go. Start me up, Bubba. It is struggling. You broke it. Well, we're having some problems. Back to the garage. <laughs> this padding here is adding a little too much extra weight and safety. <laughs> so we're going to take it off and then we'll be scooting. We fixed the carburetor. Turns out my brother put the gaskets on wrong. And uh, I think we're going to be in business. He's a dirty liar. All right. Yank town. She's already purring. Oh, Turns out our little knock, lock nut was slipping. Little giblet wasn't clamped on there. That was oh. Frickin' scootin'. That's another Barn Brothers great success. Another one for the win. Now it's time to get this thing posted on Facebook Marketplace. What the heck? And it will be rich. Ha <laughs> ha.